Dear Lucas, dear friends of the European Society for Pediatric Oncology, in a year of pandemic, we've all been reminded that science saves lives. The world's best hopes lie in the hands of doctors, biologists, researchers, who are racing to develop vaccines against the virus. And when we first heard that a vaccine against COVID-19 had been developed, I thought of the famous quote by Churchill. He said, never was so much owed by so many to so few, end of quote. We owe so much to researchers. And I want the European Union to always be at their side with all the support they need. Because they are at our side against coronavirus and against all other diseases. In 2020, over 1 million Europeans died of cancer. Twice as many as the victims of coronavirus. And still last year, more than 15,000 European children were diagnosed with cancer. I was 13 years old when my little sister, Eva Benita, died of cancer. She was just 11 years old. Two years before she died, her pain started. It was an endless odyssey from specialist to specialist until after months, the cause of her pain was diagnosed. A reticulosarcoma, a rare cancer. For my family, the diagnosis was a bolt out of the blue. All of a sudden, our calm was shattered. The days were filled with fear and the nights with tears. Back then in 1971, there was nothing the doctors could do to save her. But since then, research has progressed so much. Diagnoses are much more precise. New classes of cancer drugs have been discovered. And this can make the difference between life and death for thousands of children. And this is why the Childhood Cancer Awareness Day is so important. Research saves lives. It is with this confidence in science that one year ago we started working on a new plan against cancer. We consulted doctors, researchers, but also patients, families and survivors. We received over 200 contributions from the pediatric cancer community. And today I am proud to announce that we have just adopted our proposal for Europe's Beating Cancer Plan. It is a plan to put innovation and new technologies at the service of cancer care. It is a plan for prevention and early detection. And crucially, it includes a new initiative called Helping Children with Cancer. The initiative will target the specific challenges of pediatric cancers. For instance, by the time they are diagnosed, 80% of pediatric cancers have already spread to other parts of the body. And this must change. So the initiative will focus on rapid detection and early diagnosis together with treatment and care. It will be supported by our research program, Horizon Europe. And together with the funding will also come policy and legislative measures. The survivors of pediatric cancer face specific challenges and almost one third of them suffer severe long-term consequences. The initiative will create a cancer survivor smart card and a EU network for youth cancer survivors. This is precisely to monitor the survivor's health through the years and help them build a new life. Together, 
we can give children with cancer a better chance. Together we can make a difference. For children and for their families. For research. For millions of Europeans who are fighting for their life. Thank you for joining.